I have been asked whether it is necessary to become a renunciate to follow the spiritual path. I do not think that being married or having children or having uh, possessions is really a hindrance to our spiritual growth. What is the hindrance is our attachment to them. To illustrate my point, I'd like to tell a story. There used to live a great uh, a Sufi saint called Ibrahim Adam. He used to live in great pomp and style. So much so that even his tents were pegged to the earth with pegs of gold. A wandering dervish once happened to pass by his tent and looked at the, the lavishness of the whole scenario in front of him and thought of himself, how can a Sufi live in such pomp and wealth? He went inside the tent and asked the same question to Ibrahim. The Sufi master listened patiently to him and said, let's rest a little and eat a little food and I will answer your question later. So he, he offered the devils some food to eat, they took some rest and after they had rested, Ibrahim decided that he wanted to go to Makkah and he invited the dervish if he would like to join him. He readily agreed. So they set on Ibrahim's horses to Makkah. As they had gone a few miles, the dervish suddenly realized that he had forgotten his begging bowl back at the tent. And he told the Sufi master, you know, I have forgotten my bowl at the tent. Do you think it will be safe there? Or should we go back? We haven't really gone too far ahead right now. Can we go back and maybe get my bowl? Ibrahim, the great Sufi master, looked at him and said, I have left all my possessions behind without the least bit of worry and you are worried about your bowl. The pegs, the golden pegs that you see are staked on the earth, not in my heart. So one can possess very little and not have much and yet be very attached to it. And the other can have all the wealth in the world, all the relationships, lots of friends, and yet be attached to none. And this is the real secret of progressing on the spiritual path. It is not the renunciation. If you have any feedback or comments, please leave them on this page. If you would like to ask me a question, you are welcome to do so. Thank you for watching this video.